Hello Gaudi, it's Tuesday 2nd of March and today we are going to do the third part of the story map. First you need your listening ears and your magnet eyes. Right, we're going to recap by telling the first paragraph, recap by telling the second paragraph and then we're going to learn the third. So if she doesn't have too many technical issues, she's going to tell you what your task is. Your challenge is for one, two and three is to learn the first three paragraphs. And remember, you use the pictures as well as the actions. If you want to add your own actions, you can, as long as you can tell me what's happening in each part. Right, let's get started. Stop sharing and let's see if we can go to the other camera. There we go. There we go. Right, let's get started. So we've got Katie and the sunflowers. Remember, grandmother was helping Katie plant some seeds in the garden when it started to rain. The rain will make everything grow, said grandmother delightedly. What shall we do now? Let's try that on again, I forgot. Okay. What shall we do now? said Katie. Grandmother, who loved art, suggested they go to an art gallery. That was our first paragraph. Now we're going on to the second, which is just that. When they arrived, Kate curiously went off to explore the vast art gallery and found a painting by Vincent van Gogh called the Sunflowers. So the sunflowers, we're going to draw it in the air and just rub our two fingers on our chin. Sunflowers. The sunflowers looked dry and crunchy and full of seeds. Perhaps I could grow seeds, perhaps I could grow seeds in the garden, said Katie. That's our second paragraph. Now let's go to our third. And do you remember what I said to you earlier, that if you forget some of the words, you can always use the little clues that we've got on our story map. So this one is, I'll read it out to you first. So this one is, Slowly, she reached out to touch the sunflowers and knocked the bars over so it fell right out of the picture, spilling the sunflowers all over the floor. Katie panicked. I'd better, pick, I'd better clear that up before anyone sees. Just then, Katie heard someone laughing, but she was alone. The laughter seemed to be coming from a painting called The Breton Girls Dancing by Paul Gorgon. So we've got four sentences here. This is our first one. It's a bit of a long one, but we'll break it up into parts. So slowly, we could have slowly. She slowly reached out to touch the sunflowers and knocked the bars over out of the picture spilling the seeds all over the floor. Should we try that one again? Right there. Slowly, she reached to touch the sunflowers and knocked the bars so it fell out of the picture, spilling the sunflower seeds all over the floor. Katie panicked. Should that face so she panicked. Here we go. Katie panicked and said, I better clean that up before anyone sees. Let's try that one again. So she panicked, it's Katie. She panicked. She's clearing it up before anyone sees. Let's try that one again. Katie panicked and said, I'd better clean that up before anyone sees. Our sentence begins with just. Just then, Katie heard someone laughing, but she was alone. So for laughing, we can do one of the Makaton signs is laugh. Just then, Katie heard someone laugh, but she was alone. Just then, 
Katie heard someone laugh, but she was alone. Dancing. Do you want to know the Makaton sign for dancing? Do a little jig. Okay, so dance. And the girls, we can say girl. Here we go. The laughter seemed to be coming from a painting called The Dancing Girls by Paul Gorgan, and he's the artist, and so we can do this one for the man on the full stop. Let's try that one again. The laughter seemed to be coming from a painting called Breton Girls Dancing by Paul Gorgan. Right, let's take it from the top. Are you ready? She slowly reached out to touch the sunflowers and knocked the bars over out of the picture, spilling the seeds all over the floor. Katie panicked and said, I'd better clean that up before anyone sees. Just then, Katie had someone laughing but she was alone. The laughter seemed to be coming from a painting called Breton Girls Dancing by Paul Gorgan. That's a long one. I think we should do it again and we'll do my turn, your turn. Here we go. Slowly, she reached out to touch the sunflowers. Should we try that one again? Slowly she reached out to touch the sunflowers and knocked the bars over and knocked the bar so it fell out of the picture. And knocked the bar so it fell out of the picture, spilling sunflowers all over the floor. Let's try it again. Slowly she reached out to touch the sunflowers and knocked the bars were over. Not quite right. Let's try it again. She slowly reached out to touch the sunflowers and knock the bars so it fell right out of the picture, spilling sunflowers all over the floor. Katie panicked and said, I'd better clean that up before anyone sees. Just then, Katie heard someone laughing, but she was alone. Ready? Your turn. Just then, Katie heard her laughing, but she was alone. The laughter seemed to be coming from a painting called Breton Girls Dancing by Paul Gorgan. Are you ready? Here we go. Last one, I promise Gaudi, last one, here we go. Slowly she reached out to touch the sunflowers and knocked the vase over so it fell right out of the picture, spilling sunflowers all over the floor. Katie panicked and said, I'd better clean that up before anyone sees. Just then, Katie heard someone laughing, but she was alone. The laughter seemed to be coming from a painting called Breton Girls Dancing by Paul Gorgan. Right, Gaudi, that is a tricky one, but don't worry, you do one sentence at a time and take it nice and slowly and use the pictures to help you. And I'll see you tomorrow for the fourth part.